Welcome to the Master Cars Pro channel. Today we'll talk about the problems and weaknesses of Skoda Cityco. The Skoda Cityco is a lot like the Volkswagen Up and Seat Me. In fact, they're almost identical. That's because all three cars uh, share the same basic structure, engines, gearboxes, and so on. Park them side by side, remove the badges, and you really would struggle to know which is which. That's actually rather good news uh, for the Cityco though because it means it feels as polished as its posher uh, VW sibling in almost every way but doesn't cost as much to buy and that's whether you're in the market for a new or a used one whether you want three or five doors better still the CD go up and me a uh, Trium Wired uh, at right, uh, right at the top of the class alongside with the Hyundai i10 as our favorite city car, uh, thanks to a surprisingly big car, feel despite the diminutive dimensions. The Cedigo is spacious in the front with plenty of storage. The stereo looks a little basic, but you can sleep, clip a separate setnav unit to the top of the dash. And that also includes Bluetooth hands-free phone connection and can be used to display, uh, display the car's trip computer. You only get two seats in the back and legroom is tight if both driver and passenger behind are tall. However, with a shorter driver or rear occupant, there's ample space including generous head and elbow room. The boot is deep enough to carry a weekly um, shop and you can get a false boot floor for all models to raise the load height. If you need more space, you can uh, fold the rear seats almost flat. It's worth no noting that on entry level as models, the seat back is in one piece, whereas from the SE onwards, they're split in a 60 40 configuration. It's when you get moving that the CD go really impresses, though, on account of its uh, supple, quiet, and well controlled ride that puts to shame many larger cars combined with flight controls, good visibility, and excellent maneuverability. The smallest uh, Skoda is a delight uh, to drive in towns and cities while also feeling planted on the motorway and not nearly as bothered by crosswinds as other small cars. We would advise sticking with the smaller 15-in wheels and avoiding the optional sports suspension for the best ride comfort. The engine lineup is limited to a 1.0 liter uh, three-cylinder unit with either 59 bhp or 74 bhp. If you rarely venture out of town, the lower powered engine is up to the job. For those who plan to use their Citigo uh, for motorway commuting, the uh, extra power of the 74 bhp is worth it. True, it, it still doesn't turn the Citigo into a rocket ship, uh, but it's quick enough to keep up with traffic. The Citigo's uh, safety record is good. Having scored a maximum 5 stars when crash tested by Euro NCAP in 20. 11. Uh, one feature worth seeking out is autonomous emergency braking, which is optional on all but entry level S models, but might just um, prevent a costly bump in the future. The CDGO uh, was given the mildest of might file facelifts in early 2017, however, so slight were the ch changes that should be hard press, uh, pressed to tell. Small light cars should be very cheap to run, so it proves with the CDGO. All versions will achieve 50 60 mpg in normal driving so you won't pay more than 20 pounds per year in road tax either green tech models qualify for exemption from uh, road tax thanks to the inclusion for, uh, of the stop start uh, system pushing the cars to less than 100 grams per kilometer of co2 output servicing is also cheap skoda's fixed price menu starts from 159 pounds for a minor service uh, although you do need to factor in 389 uh, pounds for a Campbell change every three years or 3, 30,000 miles, being rated in a low insurance group also makes the CDGO a good choice for young drivers. First and foremost, uh, check the portable satnav unit is there. If it should be, being removable is one of those items that might well uh, have been misplaced. Uh, you'll also need to look for the kind of uh, dents and scratches that are often inflicted on cars that spend their time in manly urban environments. 
Also, ensure the clutch hasn't suffered from too much stop and uh, start driving. Feel for a clear bite point and try accelerating for a, from a low speed in a high gear to make sure it doesn't slip. The Skoda Cirigo has been recalled four times, but only for cars built uh, within very small time frames. Uh, for example, models produced uh, between January and March 2013 were recalled to address a possible fault with the airbag warning sensors. Cars built in March 2016 and fitted with a panoramic sunroof were checked for poor bonding of a panel that can result in rattling. Five-door city goes built from November 2015 to April 2016 were requested back into Skoda dealers to stop a fault that could cause the rear child locks from disengaging without warning. If you're looking for a tiny car with an automatic gearbox, the city go isn't the best option. That's because the AGR gearbox it uses is a crude automated manual that results in classically slow gear changes and jerky progress. A Hyundai i10 automatic uh, with a stark converter gearbox is a much better option. On manual cars, quite a few Cedigo and Volkswagen up. Owners have also reported excessive clutch and gearbox wear. So make sure the car you're looking at slots cleanly into first and reverse gears and listen out for a clicking sound from the clutch. According to our latest what car reliability survey, the CD goes a pretty safe bet uh, because it finished in 6th place out of thir uh, 23 other small and city cars. That's a better score than the Volkswagen up uh, managed uh, and only just behind the Hyundai i10, Skoda as a brand came in 7th Sevens out of 31 manufacturers, which means they're keeping their customers happy. Entry level S trim cars get a CD player, but not a great deal else. Even electric windows and remote uh, central locking are left off uh, the specification sheet. Uh, it's worth upgrading to SE to get both of these, along with air conditioning and a height adjustable driver's seat, or to Elegance, the later rename SEL for alloy wheels, rear parking uh, sensors and heated seats and sat nav. Beyond those, uh, there's Sport uh, and the la later Monte Carlo models, but he, but be warned that both come with firmer suspension and then unsettle uh, the ride. You'll also need to opt for at least elegance trim if you want the higher powered uh, engine. The most obvious alternatives to the Skoda Cedigo are the Volkswagen up and seat me. Uh, which one you choose will depend largely on how much you value the WVWs. Uh, slightly closer, finish over the Skoda's lower prices. Bear in mind too that the VW is the only one of the uh, trio to be available for, with a more powerful turbocharged engine. The Hyundai i10 is also remarkably good for tiny car. For a tiny car. True, you want to have as much fun as you can uh, in a Cedigo and it only scored 4 stars in Euro and CAPs, crash tests, but it's roomier, equally as comfortable and comes with a 5 year warranty. Speaking of warranty, the Kia Picanto comes with 7 years and uh, 100,000 miles worth of cover making it a good choice for those who want peace of mind above all else. Well, if you are the owner of this car, then please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your feedback that will help viewers when choosing a car. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for attention. It isn't much work for you to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.